Hello Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, any placement of Capricorn. This is going to be your reading for July 16th through the 31st, 2022. Welcome back subscribers. Welcome if you are new. How are you guys doing since your super full moon in Capricorn? I'm so curious. Leave me a comment. Let me know how that was for you. What shifted? What changed? Um, any epiphanies or awareness that came in for you? Also, we are building to the new moon, which will be in Leo on um, July 28th. So we're looking forward to that new moon energy. Also, the link below to my website. I am a clairvoyant psychic reader and healer. I specialize in distance readings and healings. I've been a full-time master healer for clients globally for over four years now. So the link below to my website has all the information available for you. Also, there is a 15% discount off your very first session with me. So you could take advantage of that if you feel called to do so. Otherwise, Capricorn, let's get you an overall energy. All right, one of my favorites, the Badger Spirit. Be fearless and bold. Beautiful message for you, Capricorn. I feel like this is really speaking through for you to take a chance on something. Take a leap of faith, trust in the universe, trust in what's unfolding for you. Look at where your fear is holding you back, okay? You have permission from the universe here to be fearless in what you wanna build, what you wanna create, what you want to um, live in your life. And that requires courage. So um, again, you're getting permission here from the universe. Be fearless and bold. I love that as the overall energy for you. Okay, let's see what else we've got for you. All right, second row is your specific person. Those of you dealing with a specific person, what do we need to know about them? Third row is any clarifying messages. Oops. All right, first up, Capricorn, look at this. We've got two major arcana cards with the nine of swords in the middle. So we've got the chariot, the Nine of Swords, and the Hierophant card. So really interesting considering that the Be Fearless and Bold is your overall energy because the Chariot here is really moving you forward or something in your life forward um, uh, with the highest and best alignment for you. So the Chariot is really about confidence and movement forward. So things in your life, if something has been stagnant or a little bit stuck, I do see there's going to be movement. There's going to be positive momentum forward with that. And it's interesting that the Nine of Swords is here. So that movement forward or that change or that momentum may be kicking up some fear within you. So the Nine of Swords is very much about fear and anxiety. But this fear and the anxiety lives inside the mind. It is created in the mind. If you look at this character, they are very alone with their thoughts, with all these swords, with all this fear and the anxiety. So something needs to happen with communication, Capricorn, where you come out of monologue and you come into dialogue and you start communicating your fears, your worries, and all of that so that it can be transmuted and shifted. And with the Hierophant card here, this is asking you to really trust God, the universe, the higher all-knowing, whatever the energy is outside of you that you trust um, or look to for guidance. And this is a very spiritually aligned card. So whatever movement is trying to move you forward here, there is some trust required on your part, but it's really beautiful because it's helping you shift out of your mind into connecting and trusting with what is real and what is right in front of you. Understanding that what lives inside the mind isn't always true, isn't always factual. So it's like you have the momentum to move forward. You just have to recognize where you're maybe keeping yourself stuck with certain thoughts and thinking and beliefs, etc. Really powerful energy to start with. Okay, those of you dealing with a specific person, uh, we've got Ace of Swords, the Emperor energy, and the Knight of Swords. So I'm definitely seeing communication with your specific person, and the energy of the Emperor can be a little bit stern 
um, a little bit emotionally reserved and protected, okay? So your specific person may be processing, maybe holding back a little bit right now, but I do see newness and I do see communication opening up between the two of you. And with the Knight of Swords, this is telling me there are words that need to be exchanged, words that need to be expressed. So there really is communication needed with your specific person, Capricorn. So this could be coming from your side or this could be coming from their side. Um, but the communication is needed and I do see an opening for kind of a fresh start or a clean slate or clearing the air sort of um, energy here coming through, which is really important and can be quite powerful around the new moon for you. So we've got really strong airy energy out here um, and also air so you could be dealing with a, a Gemini a Libra or an Aquarius okay last row here we've got nine of wands page of swords queen of cups interesting Capricorn I'm actually seeing um for those of you who are single or open for love I'm seeing somebody new come in for you as this queen of swords energy here and the, the communication and the the conversation with them is going to feel really gentle and really heart centered so be mindful of where you still might be guarded or where you still might be holding back a little bit nine of, of wands um, can really be around kind of having a wall around the heart. If you look at this character on the nine of wands, they're afraid, they have fear. They look like they just came out of battle and they don't ever wanna go back there again or go through that again. So they may, you may be a little bit um, guarded when it comes to new love Capricorn, but it's coming in for you. It's coming in for you and there is communication here. I love the page of swords energy because it can be, um, Kind of gentle communication, uh, just, you know, connecting, getting to know one another, you know, taking the time and the energy to have the communication. Uh, but it could be a water sign coming in for you, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer here. Um, and then I mentioned strong Aries energy, but I do see love coming in for you, Capricorn. And also you're just moving you're gaining momentum in your life and with momentum comes resistance. So this is where you need to be fearless, be bold, trust the universe, trust the higher energies and powers and you are totally moving forward on the right path, okay? All right, let's see what else we've got for you here. I love it makes total sense you've got divine guidance so again Capricorn just really speaking to letting go and trusting letting go of control letting things move forward letting the momentum happen and the resistance fall away and I'm just noticing this character is kind of reaching up to the stars here or that could even represent the new moon in Leo on the 28th so really towards the end of the month is you know turning over your wishes and your desires to the new moon planting those seeds asking for the miracles that you want to show up in your life okay so divine guidance is there for you it's very available you just have to be open to receiving it all right Capricorn look at this spirit animal message you've got the dragon supernatural you are the ancient wise sage you can shape shift at will mastery is your destiny rise with dignity beautiful this to me is taking back your power i also love that the dragon is on this almost new moon look at that very thin crescent moon that is sitting on so again i just i'm seeing capricorn that this new moon in leo is going to be quite powerful for you because it's the first new moon after your super full moon in capricorn so whatever shifted and released for you at that time you are going to be in a much more clear space to manifest, to plant your seeds, to you know, focus on your desires and use your supernatural powers. I love that message for you. So I think that's all that's coming through for you. I hope this resonates. You can always watch your moon sign rising or any other placement. This is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Thank you for your likes and subscribes. They really do make a difference. And if you missed the intro, 
I am a master clairvoyant, psychic uh, reader and healer. I specialize in distance readings and healing. So it does not matter where you live. I've been a full-time master healer for over four years with clients globally. So the link below to the website, um, all the information is there for you. You can read about the benefits, check out the testimonials page, and there is a 15% discount off your very first session with me. So you can absolutely take advantage of that if you feel called to do so. Otherwise, Capricorn, I'm wishing you a beautiful finish to July and I'll see you guys back here for the first half of August readings. Take care.